Hey, yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. So I need to make up a couple of little accessories for the eye charger. They supplied these battery clamps with the unit for power, and all they did, these were set up for banana plugs to go in there, and what they did on this end was they just crimped these little uh, wire tabs around to make sort of a loose fitting socket or banana jack for the banana plug to go into. And those didn't work very well, especially at the higher currents. So what I did here, I've already taped this one up, but I took a regular uh, banana jack and uh, just soldered it in this end here, laid some solder along the uh, threaded part of that banana jack. So now I have a really good secure place to plug the banana plug into and then it also gives you this second hole here where you can stick another banana jack in the side if you want. So you can add two connections there, say if you wanted to hook up a voltmeter or something like that. I got these two guys and what I need to go with these is I need to make myself a cable and I want to put banana plugs on one end. So I've been using these Sewell, or Sewell, Sewell, S-E-W-E-L-L. -E -L -L. And these are really nice banana plugs. They're really heavy. They're just solid brass. And the way you use them, you have to strip off half to nine sixteenths of an inch of wire. So like 13, 14 millimeters. And this is 10 gauge wire. I've actually used 8 gauge with these. It's a, 8 is a little bit tricky to use. But what you want to do is twist your strands there. Make sure you get everything through. And then the way these work is there's little teeth on the end of these. And you need to kind of flare the strands out. That's why you can't get too long if you have too much wire sticking out there's no room to uh, screw in the other end there. So you kind of make like a, a little flower out of the strands and then you shove that over and then you screw that down and then the cap pushes into those little teeth and you get a really nice uh, banana plug there, high current. Uh, the only thing these don't have is there's no side plug capability. Some banana jacks have a have a little hole in the side that you can plug another one into, but at least with these jacks here, I get that second plug capability. So anyway, there's my battery clamp ends. So I can plug that in like that, have my two battery clamps. So this will come in handy when I test the lead acid batteries. And then this end, I'm going to solder on an XT60. I've got to figure out which gender to put on there so that I can plug this into my charger and then either uh, use this to clip on to the batteries so I can discharge the 12 volt lead acid batteries or as an extension so I can uh, extend the power cable. So I just have to figure out which polarities. Yeah, so I'll show you this uh, cable when I get the uh, XT60 soldered on there and we'll use this to discharge the lead acid batteries. So hopefully this will handle oh, 5 or 10 amps of current. Be a lot uh, lots better current handling than the original setup that just had the uh, banana plug going into that crimped over piece of metal there. That didn't work very well. But yeah, I think that'll that'll work good for that. So yeah, I'll show you that when I get, uh, get the plug on the end, and we'll take a look at the finished product there.